Hey guys, welcome to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to show off these two guns that I made because the power outage was out and uh, we don't have any, like, you know, we, we didn't have any uh, electricity until we got, a, we got a generator. So this is the reason why I can't record because we got internet now. So yeah, let me get going. So here's my very first gun that I made. Decent size to this gun. I'd say it's pretty safe size. It's pretty big, honestly. It's like a perfect size for shooting, though. And I had to rebuild this four times already, so I do not want to drop it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I am doing that the whole time as well. And I added, added a video on Facebook. So yeah. So yeah, they they get a sneak preview. So yeah, this is my second one. This is for my little brother. And it's really easy to shoot, so you got this little safety thing right here. This is how you shoot. So you got this little safety thing. Because if you just do that, well, it will just fly out what like, that protects it. So let me just look up the small, let me just show you the small one because the big one's better. So put the safety down, hold it like this, like, and then you can just, I hit the camera square in the face, because this gun is not so, um, this gun is not, like, accurate, but it's pretty, like, it stings, but this one's more stronger, because I had a little rubber band compression and everything, got this whole chain mechanism. So this little, this little lever that can just easily break off. Uh, I did a big thing right here, and uh, there we go. So this one I have a bullet in it. So here's the big one. Uh, it's pretty big. You can see all. I broke this Lego part so you can see the contraption. Like right here, that has a chain and rubber band all the way adding up, going through this, going through there, and going connecting here for the perfect amount of power. So you do this, and it shoots. That's. Pretty cool, I would say. So, two, two different types. These are both the same bullets, so yeah. It's no myth or anything. They're the same cannons that I have used, but this one has a little bit more firepower. The big one, obviously. Because it's a little bit more clip. And it's and then you can have this little scope type of thing. There's no safety on this for the barrel because you gotta, like, you gotta not press as hard, but you gotta, you know, actually touch the leg over and then it'll actually do it so this by itself just doing this it doesn't like you know touch the leg over so it was okay so yeah got the nice this type of piece here that i made it's actually two pieces this sword piece with this uh, power piece i just added it together like this and then it snapped on like that nice texture piece so yeah here are two lego guns that i have made this one and this one they're both practical but i would say this one is much more harder to reload but more power and more accurate this is easier to reload you can just do this and you're pretty much good but this one it's not as accurate and as powerful it's powerful but it stings but this one a little bit stinks it stinks sometime it gave me a red bruise just like a little one for like let's say i said like 10 10 minutes okay this one i like to carry around just shooting like that and then because and it's easy to reel so you can just do that and you're ready again i mean it's it's pretty accurate. It's not like the best accuracy. Okay, accuracy. And this is my snake. 
And this is for my little brother. This little gun? Not over there, but he's going to school because apparently they have electricity, like full electricity. So, got this dope gun. Let's see, let me just set this aside. Right there. Yep, this one. Like I said, I already told you how that works. And you can actually. There is three Lego bricks here. Oh, there it is. Okay. If you actually have a flashlight, you can add it on right here. And these three Lego bricks, you can support it. And put one right here to make it so they all actually stay. Okay, you see that bullet? And actually, when you shoot, you can. See that black thing moving? That's the rubber band and the uh, chain working together when I press the trigger. It makes it fun. So let me just add it for now. And you do not want to point this in your eye as much because I actually made a system that if you line these holes, like right here with these holes, it should just easily slip in. Yeah, you got you see that and uh, when you shoot I don't want to do this if you shoot you can see the thing moving see that okay they went four but yeah these are my two Lego guns with, with the Lego pole oh wow so yeah Hope you enjoyed the video and comment down below if you want a tutorial how to make first the barrel because this barrel here does all the power and this chain just triggers it. So yeah, comment down below if you want to see a tutorial of making this one or the mini one because I, I personally like the big one because it's so it's just so perfect and stuff and it's strong. Got some like pretty strong it's easy to, it's stronger it's like a fuck with this that's for decoration purposes and flashlights or this one that's you can just fit in your pocket easy to get out uh safety you can choose with not safety and just you can do that and i can make an automatic system with this like it, there's a big like thing right here with all these bolts in it and then it goes like I can make some of the, I can make that, but I don't have the actual mind, like the part of the mind. I know how to do it, but I just don't have the materials to, yeah, they can put it that way. So comment down below if you want to see more Lego, like gadgets type of thing. And yeah, see you all later. Bye.